Daniel Shackler. I'm on the Lloyd's Apprenticeship Scheme. I'm currently with Randall and Quilter on a secondment there for 13 months. I'm in the Marine Division, namely Super Yachts and Mega Yachts. Obviously for myself, not going to university, my peers were at university and they would be leaving. I didn't have the qualifications that they'd be having, so I needed to find an alternative way into the industry. So I applied for the apprenticeship scheme as well as junior entry roles. I was fortunate to get a couple of offers, but I chose the apprenticeship scheme overall because I thought it would give me a better understanding and experience of the whole market. The fact you see the broker placements, the underwriting placements, the claim placements. I started the apprenticeship in September 2013. The first month was spent within the Lloyds Corporation doing technical training and soft skills training around about how insurance works, how the Lloyds market works. Then we went for a four month placement at a broker house uh, and I was placed into Lockton's doing tech and cyber broking. And then we went for a 13 month placement at a managing agency which entails claims and underwriting placements. I'm in the claims department at the moment, so I'm providing support to the adjusters uh, and obviously they're training me up to become an adjuster afterwards, that's the plan. So at the moment I'm negotiating with lawyers, surveyors, brokers and trying to settle claims. Reviewing surveyor files from their reports, obviously when there's a casualty of a yacht wherever it is in the world, it's my responsibility to appoint a surveyor that we know locally who can go out there and assess the loss. Uh, and then after their findings, I will sit with the adjusters, I will go through the reports, review them, give my opinion on coverage, and then develop the claim from there. A lot of people say it's not what you know, it's who you know. And through this apprenticeship, you get to develop your contacts and meet many people who are willing to look after you, teach you, and hopefully enable you to progress your career. Initially, the most challenging part of my role was overcoming the perceptions of an apprentice. I think a lot of people have the perceptions of apprentices of being very manual jobs as opposed to the financial services industry. But once people got to know me and the scheme that I was on, those perceptions soon disappeared and you found out most people were very supportive in what you were doing. Even the claims on the underwriting side is, is still all done face to face. The brokers will come and speak to you as opposed to pick up a phone or drop you an email. My, my strengths, personal strengths, are within that communication area and being able to sit, sit across the table, look at somebody in the eyes and negotiate and eventually come out with the best outcome for the client. I think it's very cliche, but again, you've got to be very hardworking. As the Lloyds market is so traditional in the face-to-face -face area of the business, you've got to have very strong interpersonal skills, communication and negotiation skills are a must. At Lloyds, I love the diversity. You, you never know what you're going to expect from day to day when you walk into the office. You don't know what's happened overnight. All of us on the apprenticeship scheme are now certified. We've all got our CERT CII. We're all currently working towards our diplomas as well. And then after that, within the next three to four years, we'd all hope to be ACII as well. The ACII is a globally recognised qualification within the insurance industry. It's sort of what everybody aims to achieve in their career is to become ACII. As an apprentice at Lloyd's, I think my career progression is Again, a slight cliche, the sky is the limit. Uh, we are starting arguably at the bottom of the ladder, but we are working our way up, and I plan next year to become a marine adjuster, and then within a couple of years of that, I'll be looking to become a senior marine adjuster, and then once I get to that stage, I'd obviously be looking at managing my own claims department. I'd recommend the career insurance, namely because of how diverse the industry is, uh, I've told a lot of friends that it's an industry where you can follow your interests. If your interests are aviation, you can go into aviation. If your interests are, are ships, you can go into marine. If you love sport and football, you can obviously go into sport insurance. So it's, it's an industry where you can really follow your interests and it's just such a social, fantastic environment where everybody is willing to teach you my advice to anybody think about doing an apprenticeship would just be do it. It's a fantastic opportunity and you'll never look back.